John Haggins, a multifaceted individual whose careers span fashion, music, and travel, passed away on June 15. The 79-year-old was discovered at his residence in Queens, New York, where he was recuperating from a hip injury sustained during a trip to Athens, Greece. The exact cause of his death remains undetermined. To commemorate what would have been Haggins' 80th birthday, a tribute is planned for September, an event he eagerly anticipated. Haggins was an industrious, kind-hearted, opinionated, an outgoing individual who consistently reinvented himself after achieving initial success following his debut in 1966. Despite encountering various challenges in the fashion industry, he emerged alongside fellow black designers Scott Barry, Stephen Burroughs, and Willie Smith. Haggins was the first to achieve widespread distribution in upscale retailers such as B. Altman & Company, Bonwit Teller, and others. Victoria Emelina, a distinguished Ukrainian writer, tragically lost her life due to injuries sustained during an attack on Pisa restaurant in the eastern city of Kramatorsk. The incident, considered a war crime by human rights activists, claimed the lives of 13 individuals. Emelina, aged 37, was dining with a group of Colombian journalists and writers at the restaurant when a Russian missile struck the establishment. Despite the best efforts of medical professionals, Emelina's injuries proved fatal. Kramatorsk, located close to Russian-occupied areas of Ukraine, despite being under Ukrainian control, also witnessed approximately 60 others sustaining injuries in the attack. Wayne Evans, the news of Wayne Evans' passing, a former football player for Walsall, Rochdale, and Kidderminster, has brought heartfelt tributes. Evans, a Welshman who played as a defender in the English Football League, later transitioned to coaching youth players. Following a spleen injury, he embarked on a coaching journey that included a stint at the Penn Fusion Soccer Academy in Westchester. Although his time there was brief, Evans continued his coaching career in Nova Scotia. Additionally, he served as the youth team manager at Shrewsbury Town, working alongside former teammates Peter Wilding and David Hoot. Mario Guerrero Mario Guerrero, a former major league infielder, passed away at the age of 73, as confirmed by his family and reported by ESPN's Enrique Rogers. Hailing from the Dominican Republic, Guerrero began his professional career with the New York Yankees in 1968. After spending four seasons in the Yankees' farm system, he was traded to the Boston Red Sox in the middle of the 1972 season. Guerrero quickly made his MLB debut with the Red Sox, playing in 66 games as a middle infielder. The following season, he secured the opening day start at shortstop and appeared in 93 games, attaining a batting average of .246. Many Bruce Pratt, a Hollywood steam poet, lesbian, and feminist activist known for her long-term partnership with trans activist Leslie Feinberg, passed away at the age of 76 in Syracuse, New York, surrounded by loved ones. Pratt peacefully departed on a Sunday, as reported by Al.com website for several Alabama newspapers. Hurston Van and Ransom Weaver initially shared the news of her passing on Pratt's website in June. They had announced that Pratt had been diagnosed with severe health issues and was receiving palliative care at home in Syracuse. Originally from Alabama, Pratt published eight poetry collections throughout her career. Notably, her book Crime Against Nature, which delved into her experiences as a lesbian raising sons, was honored as a Lamont poetry selection by the Academy of American Poets in 1989. Robert Sherman, a renowned songwriter famous for co-writing beloved Disney songs such as It's a Small World After All and Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, passed away in London on Monday, March 5th, at the age of 86. The news of his demise was announced by his son Jeff through a Facebook post. Although specific details surrounding the circumstances were not disclosed, throughout his illustrious career, Sherman received numerous prestigious accolades, including two Academy Awards, one Grammy Award, and several nominations. Together with his brother Richard Sherman, Known as the Sherman Brothers, they were honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1976. In 1992, Disney Records released a retrospective album titled The Sherman Brothers, Disney's supercalifragilistic songwriting team, featuring the duo's iconic compositions. Lawrence Terman, the esteemed Hollywood producer credited with transforming the relatively unknown novel The Graduate into a major cinematic success, passed away at the age of 96. His family confirmed his demise, which occurred at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in the Woodland Hills District of Los Angeles. Terman's career spanned over 50 years, during which he produced more than 40 films. However, his greatest achievement came with the iconic 1967 film The Graduate, starring Dustin Hoffman and the late Anne Bancroft. 
the movie achieved monumental success and became a cultural phenomenon. Terman vividly recalled his emotional response to the novel, which had initially garnered limited attention, and skillfully translated it into a captivating film that captivated audiences worldwide.